Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a certified Microsoft 365 Expert Administrator. I provide a lot of content around the MSP space, uh, particularly the SMB market. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable MFA into Azure Active Directory here for Duo. So I'm logged in here within the Duo portal. I've gone under the application section here and clicked on protect an application. And now I just want to search for Microsoft. The one that you're going to want to look for here um, depends on your environment, obviously. But what we want to do is go to the Microsoft Azure Active Directory, click on protect this application. So now we're going to have to give Duo uh, authorization to go in and do that. So I'm already signed in here under my global administrator account. You can click on that. You can click on accept. And now here, this is the uh, custom control that you're going to need to copy. And you could apply this to other uh, users in your uh, directory here if this is a Duo account with many people in there. Um, but in this particular case, I've got everything I need to set up on my side. So I'm going to go back to the Microsoft portal, go into the admin section, come down into the Azure Active Directory tile. And what we're going to be working out of is the conditional access blade here. So I can click on Azure Active Directory, I can choose conditional access. This is going to be the new portal here that Microsoft recommends for you enabling MFA across your users. You see you have custom controls here. We can click on new custom control. We're going to go ahead and just highlight everything and paste that in there. This is everything that I need on my side. We're going to click create. It's saying, hey, require dual MFA. Now when I go ahead and I set up a new policy, and let's say I want to require MFA for admin users here. I can add a new one. And I'm going to say require duo. Here you can define the groups of users uh, that you want to apply this to, if it's certain groups or if it's certain users. I'm going to say, let's say just Bruce in this particular case because I want to test this out before I roll it out to a wide variety of people. It's going to apply to all cloud applications here. Um, it's going to apply to all device platforms. I don't have to worry about configuring any. Um, I could have selected a trusted location if I wanted to not enable MFA on that trusted location, but I'm not going to worry about that in this case. Client apps, I'm not going to get into, or in device state, I'm not going to get into as part of the scope of this video. If you want to learn more about this, I have a whole video on conditional access that you can use to dive into granular features and abilities of these policies themselves. So now that we have the custom control, you'll see that required duo MFA is listed down below. You can simply check mark that box, come in, and again, session's a little bit outside the scope. You would turn that policy on, and then the next time that user goes to sign in, they'll be prompted to use their second factor with Duo instead of another third-party provider or Microsoft MFA, uh, like the Authenticator app or something of that nature. So that's everything I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, ask them below on this video. Thanks, and have a great day.